YouTube today we're gonna break into the scariest things Seisangs did to get into Aro's houses. Things when they're obsessed with behavior can get pretty dangerous. From Damn, this guy. Boys to watching them sleep, some even going as far as getting plastic surgery. And what else are they capable of doing? What the fuck? Plastic, plastic surgery? Getting plastic surgery. Sasangs are a living nightmare plastic for every so idol. Long. Privacy and common sense aren't in their vocabulary. And even though for them it's just harmless fun, it can get pretty creepy and dangerous for idols and people. Bro, that was scary. Plastic security bumped her away. It's no secret that they follow idols around and if they have their privacy, but once they're inside, they can get pretty freaky. Their behavior 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 can get pretty
time schedules away from home, they spend the majority of time in hotels. For the time being, hotels become their homes and all they want is some peace and quiet. However, in most cases, that's not happening. It's kind of common for fans to find out where they're staying, so they purposely book to stay at that place as well. Some things have connections that you and I could only dream of, and they use them for their Bro, some things, but that's where they're the hitman. Nothing is ever out of their reach. It's Wait, for their sick say? agendas. As they're usually also rich, nothing is ever out of their they're reach. Right. It's nothing dangerous enough right. for people to find out which hotels idols are staying at. However, finding out the exact room could cause some serious trouble. In 2019, when Seventeen were in Japan on a tour, Wuji saw Sang snuck into the hotel and on a door handle, she left him a bag with perfume and a letter. She then uploaded a picture of it on her social media and wrote, oh. I can't give this to him at the box on the venue, so I put it in front of his room. I chose a fragrance that is close to what Wuji likes. Please use it. I attached a letter too. I was getting gifts from fans is pretty common, though usually it's on fan signs. Although I get that you want idols to receive your gift, sneaking up to a place where they're staying at is not it. It also makes me question how good their security really is if they let those girls get so close to the idols. Installing hidden cameras. Okay, it this like one is Yeah, this, this is fucked up. It's easier to get to them. In 2015, EXO had an overseas schedule and were staying at a hotel. Overseas On one schedule. of the days of their stay, Suho went to the hotel gym, and while he was working out, he spotted a hidden camera that was previously installed there by a sasen. As soon as he noticed it, he called over the security and told them about it. Even though we are all simping for these boys pretty hard and a picture of them working out would be a blessing for our eyes, getting it without their knowledge is nothing anyone should do. What this was, however, fuck? not a one-time thing. Back when Moonlan was still a member of EXO, one fan gifted him a teddy bear. What a cute gift, right? Well, it would spy be, camera. only the fan hadn't put a hidden camera in its eye. Talk about creepy. Because of that, she managed to take a peek inside, inside the hotel room and shared a picture of him getting his makeup done. It's scary to think how smart some things are. They <laughs> always find new ways Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's some CIA yeah, yeah, stuff. That's true. Being on tour is stressful enough. You're away from your family and friends, and one thing you're thankful for is your fans. Now, imagine fans completely disturbing your peace and quiet. In 2017, NCT 127 were in the USA with their Neo City World Tour. It was in Houston when some fans managed to get into their tour bus. They didn't even have to try hard. Apparently, after asking the driver of the bus, he just let them in. Seriously, some of these companies should invest more money for some loyal security. Getting inside and looking around. You got a bar? These companies should invest more for asking the driver of the bus. The system were let into NDC to a bus and evaded the pilot. He just let them in. Seriously. Some of these companies should invest more money Maybe for some loyal security. Maybe got by money. Getting inside and looking around wasn't enough for them, though. The fans kept touching the boys' beds, giggling while doing that, and even had the guts to film themselves. Later, one of them posted the videos on Twitter, flexing that she even left a letter for one of the members on a pillow. I guess they thought people would be jealous, but of course that didn't happen. Everyone was outraged, and they had every right to be. I mean, what did she expect? No one in their right mind would ever think that was a good idea. Thankfully, management was alerted to the situation and did their job and called the police. Text came in calm, and while some foul things are more extreme and disturb idols' personal space, some choose a less extreme way. The most common way to harass idols is by Texting. calling and sending them messages nonstop. Over the years, GOT7's Young Jay expressed his anger multiple times, but absolutely nothing worked. In 2018, he posted on his social media, Stop sending me cat talk messages. Please, stop. For five months, please, please stop. You can tell how frustrated he was about the situation, and it breaks my heart. Not much later, he made another post about it after Sa Sings kept selling his contact info and even revealing it on social media. This has been That's crazy. Your phone Not number being leaked. Other members as well. However, to this day, their agency JYP never took any action against them. Some of these stories were pretty intense, right? What do you think makes Sa Sings act like yeah. this? Let me know in the comments. This was all for today, and until yeah. next time, bye. Like, what can you say? Crazy people out there. Yeah, that one. You have love, but still, doing all that. That's some hitman stuff going on right there. Camera in his eye, to the eye. Yeah. Imagine oh, the teddy bear and stuff. Crazy. The teddy bear one was insane. Also yeah. sneaking in the houses at night, touching them while sleeping. That's that crazy. That one, that that's one that was, he saw people on top of him. Yeah. You can see the reaction of the people around him. Mm. That's some insane stuff. Like, yeah. what makes you put? And the stuff is, how do they find these connections? Imagine the money they spent yeah. Yeah. doing this dumb stuff and invading their privacy and everything else. It's actually terrifying to watch. Yeah, most. I also really have to be tough people in this situation. Not having an inch of privacy. Yeah. There's some insane stuff going on out there.